Good morning, everybody, and happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. I thought today, what could be more American than being completely self-sufficient and using an American-made vehicle, American-designed and built, Rivian over there, to power my house. So I just got done with a little test. Um, Rich Reynoso helped me out. Um, they gave me access on the current version of the app to test um, bi-directional charging. So I have successfully tested um, the Rivian. Um, so Rivian says bi-directional charging is not available until 2026. Um, as far as my discussion with Rich goes, um, it seems like, and I'm not putting words in anyone's mouth, so take this as it is, but it seems like when manufacturers are referring to cars not being capable or able uh, to bi-directional charge, what they mean is the screen, um, you know, it's not showing anything on your screen or your app that says, hey, the car is discharging right now. Um, so it's doing it, it's mechanically um, able to do it, um, but you can't see it on the screen. So right now, you can see I have my solar off, my main off, um, and I've got my backup loads on still, uh, and the inverter is on still. Um, this is it. That's, I'll put a little screenshot. I did a screen grab of the uh, app showing the discharge from the Rivian. Um, but yeah, that's, that's super exciting. So fully independent energy wise on independence day um that's pretty cool um so happy fourth of july hope everyone's having a good time um be safe out there and uh yeah just know that um point guard has handled the situation from last weekend astonishingly well um it's been it's been awesome um and to to get i feel privileged um to be able to have had those conversations with people. Nobody at any point was defensive or um, upset. Um, they were concerned for me and wanted to help educate me so that I could um, actually fully comprehend what the system does, make sure it's working at my home again, um, and that no one else has these problems in future. So that's super cool. I just. I really appreciate that, um, but like I said, the main focus today is uh, American designed and built vehicle running my built-in 1956 house via the Point Guard energy system. So um, pretty awesome. Thank you to the team there. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rob. All right, so that was just a test um, in the app. Um, it's not fully functional yet version three is supposed to be coming out in the next couple of weeks um so that's exciting um that should mean that everybody has access to that and can use it you know kind of full-time um leave that setting on that would be amazing um so there we go just so much fun i i really get a kick out of that running the whole house you know the rest of the family's asleep right now um except for this one <laughs> so we're hanging out outside and they have no idea, but the house has been swapping from um, grid to uh, battery backup there from point guard to battery backup from the Rivian um, to running off of solar and charging that battery. Um, so, yeah, um, it's all seamless. No one inside has any idea that that's been going on, thankfully, or <laughs> my wife would be furious. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Um, there's more functionality coming in version three of the app. It was a fun test to be able to show you guys um, that yes, in fact, not only does bi-directional charging work, um, it works with a 2025 Gen 2 Rivian R1S. So again, I don't wanna put any words in anyone's mouth, but as far as I understand at this point, any vehicle that's tested to the specific standards listed on point guards website which is a dc communication protocol 
any vehicle that uses that standard, which basically all of them do, um, then they will be able to buy directional charge. So whether the manufacturer says, yes, it will work. <laughs> She's very excited. She could see the dog. Um, so whether the manufacturer says that it's bi-directional charging capable or not um, is sort of irrelevant based on how bi-directional charging works. So um, even systems that claim to be locked in to specific manufacturers like Ford's own system um, or GM's own system that's supposed to only work with GM's or Ford's, that's not how it works. Um, those systems are actually made by a third party and both the Ford and the Chevy one are the same. Um, so they're the same system underneath the skin. I think we're all learning about this cutting edge technology, you know, running your house off of sunshine, even though there really isn't very much right now. There's enough to run my house. Um, not only run my house, but also charge the batteries right now. Um, so... Uh, you know, this is cutting edge technology. There's a lot to learn. Um, version 2.2.1 of the app, I think was a little bit cumbersome. Um, but when you understand it and you have the correct information, it was massively capable. So I'm really excited for version three. But what was exciting was um, talking to Rich and um, hearing what the engineers are saying and what Rich is saying. Um, was really excited they have a really good handle on this um and as far as i can tell the people that i've spoken to have joined point guard because it is the top of the field and it's exciting technology that should be really incredible for the consumer so um i'm pretty excited um i just wanted to share that happy fourth of july